a very warm welcome to my dear children right so uh, with the new routine i am given your moral science subject teacher okay previously you had your uh, tilak sir as your moral science teacher but now from now i will be your moral science teacher also with along with science and maths right children okay so first of all uh this is my first class with you as a moral science teacher right so i want you to explain what this moral science means first of all you have to know what this moral science means right okay. moral science is a part of our science okay which helps us to understand what is good and what is bad moral science uh, gives us or uh, teaches us to gather the knowledge about what is good and what is bad right when we see around the world or around our uh, nature okay we see many things happening here there 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 right okay. there also we can see some good things as well as some bad things right children this moral science will teach us how to be a very good person okay what things we should do and what things we should not do it is the book which is helping us to gain knowledge about this good habits okay it teaches us what is good habit what is bad habit okay like at home there is our parents there is our grandparents brothers sisters right they always teach us what how to be a good person right how to be a good person in the same way along with these parents brothers sisters grandparents what there is a book for us right which teaches us the good habits good manners right children like uh you have in your own class one chart paper okay one uh, yeah calendar type of chart paper is there there also you can see the good habits as well as bad habits like example i can give you that when you are in the class inside the class itself okay in or uh, one very good example that when you are at home when you are at home uh we always say that keep our surrounding clean right children keep our surrounding clean that means even your house also should be clean right yes now in the same thing when you are in the school you write with the pencil you have to sharp your pencil again and again now that sharpen things of the pencil that wooden part of the pencil after sharpening where you should throw where you should throw children yes uh, in the floor or in the dustbin where in the dustbin this is also a good manner that you should throw all the waste in the dustbin yes or no this also is taught by our parents elders grandparents as well as teachers why because they are the educators they give us knowledge yes or no children yes then we always say you that wake up early in the morning when you wake up early in the morning what happen you become very fresh as well as sleep early have your dinner uh, at uh, 7:38 or even 8:30 then you have sleep at 9 8:30 9 9:30 10 don't go beyond that why because when you go beyond that you are unable to wake up early in the morning okay children so when you wake up early in the morning your body your uh, mind will be fresh then what happens your uh, new day will start with a new fresh body then you will enjoy doing all the things of the household as well as your own personal works properly Right, children. Okay. 
In the same way, I can give you another example that. Okay. Uh, another example, I can give you that. Okay. Always, we say no. When uh, someone, somebody, or someone gives us anything, what we should say? We should say thank you. Right. This is also a good manner of a person. Yes. Okay. Then uh, another example I can give you about that. Uh, while walking on a road, while walking on a road, if you see any uh, old uh, old lady or a old man, okay, they are carrying the heavy load in their hand. They are unable to walk properly. So in that case, what you will see, what you will do, you will just see them, watch them, or you'll go and help them. Yes, I know that you are in class three, you are unable to carry the also the heavy loads. But when I am talking this, I am educating you. When you are a little bigger, when you are growing, when you are grown up, I am talking about that day, not now, because now you are small. Yes, children. Yes, you are now small. You cannot hold that heavy loads. But if you uh, can manage to hold the uh, heavy weight as per your strength, it is okay. Very good. Okay. But uh, I am giving you explanation about this thing for your future, not right now. So when you see any old lady or old man carrying a heavy load, okay, then. It is our duty, or it is our uh, inner more strength, which support us, which gives us energy to go and help them. Okay, to go and help them. I also, whenever I go uh, uh, in the markets or roadsides, okay, if I see the old uh, man or old lady, I have my bike. Yes. In that bike, I carry them and I drop them with they to their place. You know, I feel happy by helping them in that situation. Okay. So uh, it is your duty also to help them. Okay, one very good example that I can give you that a uh, old uh, person or old uh, man or old lady, they are uh, wanting to cross the road now they are old right they uh, they are very afraid that uh, some vehicle may come and hit them yes or no in that case what you should do you should leave them there only or you have that uh, capacity to make them to cross the road yes or no you have that capacity yes or no you can see the vehicle which is coming which is not coming this way also right hand side left hand side both side you can see right then what you can do, you can put your hand like this, make them stop all the cars and all. Then you can go uh, on the zebra crossing also. We have zebra crossing on the roads also, right? You can cross this old person, old uh, lady or old man with that zebra crossing also. Yes or no? So by this, what we know, this are these are all the good habits that we learn with this moral science. It is a part of our life which teaches us what? Good habits as well as bad habits. Always remember every person in the world, even your family members, mother, father, brothers, sisters, grandparents, all what they do, what they do, they always teach us about good habits. They don't teach us about any kind of bad habits. Right children? Okay? So this is just the introduction of your uh, moral science with my first class okay i hope you understand the video okay so in the next class we will be going with our chapters right children thank you